Is there a position in particular that you feel this team could upgrade from mm. going down the line here? Well, okay. So goalie is great uh, because you have Oliver Zemla as backup with Andre Blake dealing with an injury. Bit great revelation this, this year. Yeah. So that I feel good about. Um, you don't really need a third fully. Uh, I've, I've had faith in the two of them that they'll, one of them should be out there. Knock on wood. Gosh. <laughs> um, I think the back line has, has enough depth. Obviously we saw Matt Rial get loaned out as we talked about on Thursday or Friday. Um, excuse me. Uh, that's, I think, a move that makes sense because the back line has six guys that you can rotate between those four spots, whether it's a three-back or a four-back. You've got flexibility there. So I think defensively, the unit is great. Where I would love to see improvements for the Philadelphia Union moving forward, if, if I could have a, a say and be involved, is in the midfield and up top. I think you need one piece for each. I still think they are about a midi away. I think um, Jose Martinez is solid as a six. I love the the way that Jack and Quinn have been playing, and Daniel Gazak's playing much better. And Ali's a great player off the bench. Jesus Bueno is a great player off the bench. But I still feel like they're missing that traditional playmaker. I think Jack McGlynn, we saw him register his first assist uh, like two games ago, it would have been. Mm -hmm. And he's absolutely a guy that completes passes, helps with possession. But he's that box-to-box -box mini. Quinn Sullivan's the worker. He's going to make runs all over the place. He's going to overlap. He's going to get forward. He's flexible where he can play up top or in the midfield. Daniel Gazdag is scoring. Great to see him and Julian are actually making some history themselves as the one of the only duos across Major League Soccer to have. That's right. You know, to, the, for goals that they've scored. I'll have to find the exact stat. But I still think they're missing that true facilitator, the person who's going to spray the ball, who's going to make the the final third pass, set up, get the assist, set people up to score. And then as we saw with Ua coming off the bench, which I actually liked, mm. I'd still love to see somebody else in that starting role up top. It doesn't have to be somebody that's going to come in and score you 20 goals in the season. But I think similar to actually what Quinn brings, I think they could use another Quinn, another guy that's versatile, that can play up top or in the midfield, that can that just brings the aggression, brings the work, brings the runs, brings the creativity. Because to be honest, the best players you get from that are Quinn, Kai, and Nate. You know, Huli and Daniel, they're both more of polished finishers. Yeah. They're gonna, you know, high press, especially Huli, and he's gonna high press the backs. But where's that that forward that's more savvy of just kind of drifting in and out of mm. pockets, finding the ball, making runs, spinning off of defenders? Um consistently to link play. So I think if I had to pick one and be a guy that could do both, like a, again, a Quinn would be great, but ideally it'd be two guys and you'd add one more piece of the midfield plus midfield to spot. You need depth. You need that. Ali and Jesus are your backups. Leon Flack when he gets healthy, but you, st I still think they're a midi out. And then up top with Marcus Anderson, Chris Donovan, uh, Jeremy Raffinell is another one that can play in different roles. I still think they're missing that guy, another depth piece that outside of Julian, Quinn, and Daniel is going to be able to contribute. Uwa's doing better. He's hap I'm happy to see it, but He's I still think better. they're missing one more consistent threat that can add into the attack. No, Renee, when I look at this potential offseason for the U, I think they have everything, right? Like I, they have a solid attack. Midfield's been really strong this year. The back line will, will always be strong. It hasn't looked the best in the beginning of the parts of the year, but you know them. You can trust them. The goalie, like I mentioned, Zemla has been such a great revelation this year because Andre Blake, we know International Cup, but obviously we're dealing with the injuries right mm -hmm. now. So it's so big having a guy like Oliver Zemla step up. But when I look at this team, Renee, you know, I always make I always make that reference to the Phillies back in nineteen in the late seventies, early eighties. Like, you know, no one loves to talk about this guy, but when they brought in Pete Rose, he was a really good player, mm. and he was that piece that the Phillies needed at that time. And I know we're talking about a different sport and a completely different era of sports, but I really feel like the union, that's what they're missing. Like, an attack, like someone in the attack for sure, whether it be someone who can play as a 10, someone who can play as a little bit of an 8, maybe you can line them up as a forward. But someone who can come off that bench, provide some yeah. veteran leadership, <laughs> provide some goal scoring as well, just that that tenacity, yeah. that killer instinct that we talk about so much. That's something that I would definitely look at. Obviously, Carranza, that's a big question mark. What is going to happen with mm -hmm. him? I genuinely don't know. There is a possibility he could stay here, which would be really awesome. But you do need to think about that because if not, you're going to lose him for nothing. And this is you're one of your most prolific goal scorers in your young club's history. So it is definitely something difficult that the union have to kind of think about. Yeah. But 
I would love if Julian stays, you find yourself a veteran midfielder, someone who could play 10, play the eight, some versatility, or find a forward if Julian does leave. I think Julian's replacement should be someone with experience, Definitely. some veteran experience to come in, bring that veteran. And, and especially what's important to me is that Europe. I do think you need that European experience or even just experience playing in some big matches. Copa mm -hmm. Libertadores is something really big as well. But just bringing that experience because, like, when you see them in big game moments, they like 2022, the MLS Cup final, that's the easiest one. Like, they gave it their all, but they were just that yeah. close to it. So, when I'm looking at a replacement, a position, I'm looking at the attack and I'm just looking for some veteran experience who can bring some of that killer instinct.